Wait, uh, how am I in this video right now? Am I on your couch? Am I on your chair? We don't know. We don't know yet. We'll figure we'll it out. Can, it I, be out on, can I be on the chair with eyes? You can be. <laughs> you, can you don't be. have to do that. No, you can be. Honor. Okay. I can make friends with this chair. There you go. Hey, David. Hey, Chris. We have a friend. Who's here? It's Elle. Who? Me? Oh. Hi, oh. guys. Oh, shit. It's, it's, it's Elle. Yeah, what's going on, Elle? I, I was sitting here for like an hour. You guys didn't even acknowledge me. <laughs> Would you like some water? I'd like acknowledgement. And, uh, <laughs> but that's fine. All right, so we are going to play a quick little game called Can You Survive a Scary Movie? Dun, dun. I don't like this already. I'm scared. <laughs> it's okay. I'll protect you. There you go. I'm very threatening. Are you playing too? I am not. Are you playing. the oh. Are you the serial killer? <gasps> um, we've ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going up to a lake cabin upstate for the weekend. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. No. What do you bring with you? A. Just your clothes. B. Flashlight in case the power goes out. C. Small pepper spray or a knife. D. Your own pillows. I'd be bringing the pillows because <laughs> I'm gonna get killed either way. You'll like, die if, in if, comfort. Yeah. TBH, I have watched way too many scary movies. Oh, actually, we might bring our uh, machete. I'm not gonna lie you to you. You bring the machete? <laughs> Listen, I'm paranoid. We have one. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Wait, you, you just have a machete? We have a machete. Legit, yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> I slept at your house once. I'm just gonna have a pillow fight and yeah, it's, it's gonna be then fun. Then you're gonna make friends with the killer and and then you're gonna get some brunch tomorrow. I wouldn't become best friends with him, but we can get brunch. <laughs> On the way there, it's getting dark and misty. Why so have we gone later in the day? It was really upset. We're fools. <laughs> Start to get hungry, so you stop by the middle of a nowhere gas station to grab some quick eat. You go back to the car, pull over to the side, and eat the snacks in the car. Okay. First question, why are we pulling over to eat? Problem solved. Problem because solved. everybody wants to eat. We're almost done eating. When we see a car pull up just ahead of us, someone gets out holding a flashlight and begins to walk towards the car. What do we do? A, wait to see what they want. Maybe they're a cop. B, start the car immediately, drive away. Jar, drive the f away. On a real note, you're right. What if it's a cop, you know? They didn't have lights on too late. Looks like we're leaving. Tough cookies, cop. Bye. Whoa. Be a better cop. You're gonna get a ticket. Well, I will eat sure. that ticket over death, so. <laughs> The cop is not a cop, oh. actually. Yeah, he takes you to his Ellie, car. Ellie, you died already. He, he killed you already. <laughs> you know what? Really? <laughs> All right, so I'm dead. You End do. of video here. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? We're gonna see how many times we die. How about, how about that? like we have Fine. like a list of lives? Ding ding ding. Okay. There you go. Oh, oh, lost you've life. lost one life, and if you get I'm... to zero lives, then you're dead. How about that? All right. Fine. You're driving, and both your phones go off. Alert! It's a very dangerous person has escaped a nearby sanitarium. You come across a person on the side of the road. You can died once. just make out that they're holding jumper cables and are trying to flag you down. What do you do? A. Pick up speed and zoom past them. B. Pretend you don't see them. C. Stop and give them a jump. They need help. D. Make sure to look at them as you drive past. Well, you gotta help the guy. No, Let's no, just pull no, you don't. The it's the middle of the night. No, bitch. Mm. You stuck. Yeah. Call your car insurance company. You it's know rough. what, David? David? Yeah. Let me out of the car. <laughs> Let me help the guy out. You get out the car and you go, Sir, Yeah. you need some help. He opens up the hood and you see. Open the hood. He ties the, the ropes around your neck and. No! And you chug. <laughs> Crystal drove away a long time ago. Crystal's gone. Crystal. She left you. <laughs> he killed me? Seriously? You know, I'm gonna give her an extra life because she's so <gasps> sweet. Oh, but da da da. Yay! Aww. I like this game. Yeah, <laughs> Which one did you pick? I just gonna zooms. Like, goodbye. Okay, so he notices that you pick up speed and he takes note of that. No! Oh, you're finally at the cabin, thank God. Yay. It's beautiful. Wow. What's the first thing you do? <laughs> A, check the whole house, inspect every nook and cranny. B, turn on the TV and chill on the couch. C, go to your respective room and set up your own space. D, go look for food. Go look for food. I'm gonna check the house, I'm paranoid. Crystal goes, she inspects the house, she looks all around. Now goes <laughs> straight to the kitchen and opens the fridge. As you guys try to relax, you think you see an outline of someone outside the window. So you go to turn on the lights and oh no, they aren't turning Why on. Why weren't the lights on already? What do you do? A, go look for where the circuit breaker is. Yeah, B, no. go and try to find the nearest neighbor and ask for help. C, 
Try and call the owner. D. Fuck it. You came to get away from everything anyway, so just chill in the dark. Are those <laughs> options are horrible. I'm gonna go over to the neighbor's house, bring them something like like a like a bunt cake. So Elle, Elle goes to go and uh, she goes to see where the nearest neighbor is. She notices there isn't any houses nearby. Of course. Oh. No. no I changed my mind now. I'm gonna go back home <laughs> No, now. you're already outside. Oh, she tries to change her mind and tries to run back inside, but oh no, the killer grabs her. Already? already? First thing I do, I see this guy, I go <laughs> and right next to me, you know what it is? My machete. I had it with me. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm a paranoid bitch, okay? My machete. Well, Crystal knows the layout of the house, so she finds the safest place. Yes. You know what, Crystal? You're no fun, okay? I don't want I'm to hang so out paranoid. not going to come to the refrigerator with me. You think about going home, so you look outside to see where the car is. The car is gone. What? Who? Seriously? Our car? What? Yeah, your car is gone. What the f are you talking about? It's gone. Well, well that's gonna, that's guess what we're doing. Now what? Calling 911. I was gonna say call an Uber. So but you try. I guess 911 is good. Perfect. You guys try to call. Yeah. You don't have any service. How the f would we go to a place without service? Maybe we just go back to the neighbor's house. There is and no we try neighbor. Oh, there's no neighbors. Us. Okay, sorry. No. no. <laughs> Stop dying. You hear a knock at the door. No. It's Thank a God. Policeman. No, it's Company. not. You open the door and he says, Who a man broke into your car and you need to come with him because they're holding the man who did it. You oh, ask for God. an ID and he flashes you a badge. What do you do? A, go with the cop. B, say you never had a car and close the door. C, say you have someone coming and you can't leave. D, say, okay, you just need to grab your stuff before you go. I don't trust this man. I have my machete and I stab him. You do not have your machete on you. <laughs> Every know. answer is just stab him with my machete. <laughs> Let, what do we do if we just pretend like we don't have a car? You just close the door. Okay, let's okay, do that. that if you just close face. it in his face, <laughs> Right, he's gonna f no. So what you gotta do is be like, oh, oh my god, thank you so much. Just wait out here. I'm gonna close the door in your face. And I'm gonna get my stuff, and then we're gonna come with you, right? And then he's gonna be expectantly oh. waiting, like, okay, they're gonna come, and we get the machete, and then we stab him. Oh my him. god, again with this machete. <laughs> Why can't we just trust the poor guy? No. He's just doing his job. I will job. say this: trusting has gotten you killed. Oh yeah, probably shouldn't <laughs> trust him again. Uh, I'll do whatever Crystal does. Die, but do no you have what, your pillows? So. Are you right? Are you? Oh, I always have my pillows. Okay. What do you grab before you get the f out of there? P your pillows. Pillows. pillows? <laughs> She's okay. ready. So you brought your pillows. Elle's yeah. here with her pillows. I'm here with my machete. We're about to kick some ass. <laughs> yeah, but B. no, the pillows will come in handy. They will because he's gonna think we're ready for a sleepover. We are, we're yep. all cutesy. Yeah. And then you're just gonna go. <laughs> yes. That's good. B. An extra pair of clothes so you can change into. C, the car keys, you might, you know, you might find the car. D, the whole damn bag. I can part with my stuff, but I will bring my machete. So A, you make a run for it. Which way do you run? A, towards the nearest house. Maybe neighbors can help. Yeah, neighbors! <laughs> B, you don't run. You look for your car and hope to find it and drive home. C, run to the nearest road and try to hitch a ride. D, run back towards town. Just gonna say I'm gonna go with the neighbors because I really like <laughs> want to make friends with these neighbors. <laughs> there are no neighbors. Oh yeah. We've I determined the that. neighbors don't oh, exist. Okay. I'm gonna get on the road and go to town because I'm pretty sure we can get kind of close to town before he sees us. All right, so you guys wait for an opening and you run towards the town. The killer is looking for you. Oh, I'm getting tired. <laughs> I'm getting, we gotta, <laughs> no. No. Go on without no. me. Yeah. You see someone ahead of you. You know this will be your last hurdle. What do you do? A, scary. turn and run into the woods to try to dodge the person to go around them. C, realize you're just paranoid. This person could help. D, turn around and go back the way you came. I mean, I'd probably be like, hey, you, <laughs> sir, can you help us or? I would go into the woods. Yeah, I think the woods is this tower. Oh, wait, no, she, the killer might be in there. You know what? We're yeah, gonna, go, to, we're gonna go towards the guy, but I'm, I'm gonna stab anymore. him. He starts to come towards you. Oh, I'm ready. hiding behind you with her pillows. Turns out it was the killer. You slash him in the leg and you keep running towards the town. He falls. Congrats, you made it. Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> Thanks to my quick, smart judgment, she she came right back out of those woods. You're, You're so, so right. right. <laughs> what would have happened if I went into the woods? I'm you would have died. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, that was a spoopy tastic time. That was time. spoopy tastic. So leave a comment down below if you would have survived. And thanks to oh. L Cartoons for being such a great. I had sport. fun. We did a video on L's channel, and it's really great. And she's amazing. yeah. You have watch the video you go over there. Subscribe, subscribe, and notificate it so you can see our stuff. <laughs> thanks. Oh, uh, thank you. We love you. We love you. Love and, you guys um, too. We'll see you guys. Bye. Next time. Bye.